here today to talk about the proper way to travel with a firearm. Uh, we're seeing an uptick in the number of guns nationwide coming to security checkpoints. Uh, so we want to educate passengers on the right way to travel with them, bringing them to the checkpoints the absolute wrong way. So when you're packing for, for travel, we, we don't have any issues with you taking your firearm with you as long as it's inaccessible during the flight. We don't want it in the cabin, therefore it, it can't come through the checkpoint. Uh, but you can pack it uh, and put it in the underside uh, as long as you uh, pack it the correct way and you place it in the belly of the aircraft and you've declared it to the airline that you're, you're traveling with. So we'll go through the steps of that right now really quickly. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is have a hard sided case. There is a number of different models of this from, uh, from a small kind of pocket book size one uh, to this medium sized one all the way to the ones that will carry those long rifles for, for hunters. Um, you get these at most sporting goods stores but make sure that they are hard sided and make sure that they have padding on the inside or something that will keep the firearm in what we call a steady state. Um, another tip for when you're preparing your firearm in case for travel. Uh, is if you have a business card or if you want to put a piece of uh, duct tape on the outside with your name and phone number, that gives us a quick way to contact you if there is a problem with the way that you pack your firearm. So when you're uh, getting your firearm ready for travel, the first thing you want to do and probably most important thing is to make sure that it is completely unloaded. So you're going to remove any magazines from it. You're going to take the magazines out and you're going to make sure that there are no rounds chambered in the inside. Very important. If the firearm is completely empty, you can place that empty firearm inside of your case. Uh, I brought a separate one uh, just to illustrate that you can take more than one gun in a case, uh, again, as long as it's unloaded uh, and packaged properly. So you can place that on the inside of the box as well. Uh, ammunition can travel in the same box, but it needs to be stored, again, separate from the firearm and in a steady state. We don't want it, you know, loose ammunition rolling around on the inside of the box. Um, so if you have the magazine that you purchased the, uh, that, are, that comes with the firearm, you can leave the ammunition in here, uh, but you need to check to make sure that it doesn't fall out. If you shake it and the rounds come out uh, and the spring's loose, then you're going to want to find another way to package your, your ammunition. Uh, but you can store it in the, in the uh, original magazine, again, separate from the firearm. Or you can use the box that you purchase the ammunition in or an aftermarket box like this. Uh, again, that shows that uh, it keeps it still. At that point, you're going to secure your box, uh, and this is the next most important step. Is you need to make sure that it is locked. Uh, so you're going to get your, your lock on there. And uh, important with locks, you need to make sure that when you secure your box, that you're hitting every possibility for a lock with it. Uh, you're going to go immediately to, the, to check in at your airline, and you're going to get one of these cards. Uh, a little bit different from airline to airline, but you're going to declare that you're traveling with a firearm to them and they're going to have you fill this out and you're going to put this in the inside of your box and you're going to place that declaration card on the inside. Um, this is very important. If you don't do this, if you do not declare that you're traveling with a firearm, you can get a civil penalty as well and, and law enforcement can get involved as well. So very important that you declare that firearm at the ticket counter. Uh, when it comes down, if we don't see this card, uh, when we're doing the screening of the, uh, the, the firearm, we're going to contact the, uh, the airline and we're going to say, hey, did you know about this? And that's when you can get into trouble. So very important that you declare it, get that card, put it in there, send it down. And at that point, once it is in there again, you're going to re-secure it. And this is the last time you're going to see your firearm until you get to your destination. Uh, when you get to your destination, if you packed it like this separately, uh, you may have to pick it up at your airline's baggage office. Um, but if you uh, want, and the tip we like to give is if you have room in your suitcase, uh, you can put this box inside of your suitcase with all of the rest of your, of your items. The number of guns that come to checkpoints in, in states that are open carry or concealed carry are, are traditionally higher than in states that are not. Uh, reason being is that people pick up their keys, their wallet, their gun, they head, head out the door for their day. Uh, but you really got to flip that switch when you're traveling uh, and you got to make sure that you're packaging it the right way and leaving it in the underside of the aircraft and, and declare to the airlines the proper way uh, with package.